what you can do is you can configure it to your face. You have to set it up. There's a camera on the B pillar. And once you activate it, that camera basically will recognize your face. So as you walk up to the car, it will unlock the car because it recognizes who you are, as long as you're not wearing dark glasses. We, we found that caught it out once or twice. Uh, and then once you're in the car, how do you start it? Well, there's a little fingerprint touch pad just ahead of the, uh, the, in the center console at the front. And you touch that and that basically unlocks it. And it's at that point you can press the starter button and you're good to go. So that, that's pretty much, if you're used to a smartphone or iPhone, then you're pretty much used to that sort of technology. The final thing I want to talk about in terms of tech is on this car, they, which I haven't tried yet, they now apparently have a virtual gear shift. What does that mean? That means that the paddles, which normally on an EV operate the regen system, so how much regen you get. And if you understand that, that basically means how much energy you can recoup from braking and slowing to recharge the batteries. But in this particular case, you use it for that, or you can turn on the virtual gear shift mode and basically